In this video, I will explain the iterative method of doing the pre-order traversal. In pre-order traversal, we first visit the root, then we visit the left subtree, and at the last, we visit the right subtree. So the order is root, left, and then right. So pre-order traversal of the given tree is this. I have already made a video explaining the pre-order traversal using recursive method and also shown a shortcut way in which we can write down the pre-order traversal of any tree. I will link that video in the top right corner. You can refer to those if you have any doubts. Now let's see the iterative method of doing the pre-order traversal. So whenever we are converting a recursive approach to an iterative approach, we make use of stack. Because recursive method use implicit stack, which is provided by system, so when we want to convert the recursive method to an iterative, we need to use an external stack. So the first step of the algorithm is we need to create an empty stack. So let's say we have created this stack. Then the second step is we push root node to the stack. So A is the root node of this tree. So we push A to the stack. Then the third step is we create a tree node current, which we initialize by null. Then we need to run this while loop until stack is not empty. So currently stack is not empty, so we go inside the while loop. So the first step is we set current to top of the stack. So current becomes A. Then we print value of current. So let's say we are printing the output here. So we print A and then we pop from the stack. So when we pop, the stack becomes empty. Then the next step is if current right is not equal to null, current is A, right of A is Z. So we push Z to the stack and then we check if current left is not equal to null. Left of A is D. So we push D to the stack. Then we again come in this while condition. We check the stack is not empty and we initialize current with the top of the stack, which is D. Then we print the value of current and we pop from the stack. So we pop D from the stack. And we check current right is not equal to null. So right of D is L. So we push L to the stack. And we check left of D. Left of D is H. So we push H to the stack. We again come in this while condition. Stack is not empty. So we initialize current with top of the stack, which is H. We print the value of current and we pop from the stack. And we check right of H. So right of H is null. So this if condition is false and left of H is also null. So this condition is also false. Then we again come in this while condition stack is not empty. We initialize current with top of the stack. Top of the stack is now L. We print value of current and we pop from the stack. We check right of L. So right of L is null. So this condition is false. Then we check left of L. Left of L is P. So we push P to the stack. We again come here, stack is not empty. We initialize current with top of the stack, which is P. And we print value of P and we pop from the stack. Then we check right of P. Right of P is null and left of P is also null. So these conditions are false. We again check the while condition, stack is not empty. We initialize current with top of the stack, which is Z. We print value of current and we pop from the stack. Stack is empty. We check right of Z. So right of Z is C. We push C to the stack and we check left of Z. Left of Z is null. So this if condition is not true. We again come in this while condition. So stack is not empty. We set current to top of the stack, which is C. We print value of current and we pop from the stack. So stack is empty. We check right of current. So right of C is E. We push E to the stack. Check left of C, left of C is null. Then we again come in this while condition. So top of the stack is E, so current becomes E. We print value of E, we pop from the stack, the stack is empty. We check right of E, right of E is null, and left of E is also null. So these conditions are false. We again come in this while condition. So now the stack is empty. So this while loop terminates. And this is our pre-order traversal that we have obtained. So one thing to note here is we first push right to the stack and then we push left to the stack. 
it is because when we will pop out from the stack we will pop in the reverse order so first we'll pop left and then we'll pop right if we see the time complexity of this pre-order traversal it is equal to order of n where n is the number of nodes of the tree it is because all the nodes can be aligned in one direction in which the height of the tree will be equal to number of nodes now once we've understood the pseudo code let's try to implement this so all the code that i'll be showing is available in my github repository link of that is available here and as well as in the description now let's have a look at the code so in the main function i've created a tree node the root is a the left of a is d right of a is z so in this manner i've initialized all the nodes of the tree and then i pass this root node to the pre-order traversal function in the function pre-order traversal i've created a stack of type tree node i push the root node in the stack and then I run this while loop while the stack is not empty. I assign top of the stack to the current node. I print the value of current and then I pop from the stack. Then I check if right of current is not equal to null, I push it in the stack. And if left of the current is not null, I push that also in the stack. So in this current while C out, the pre order traversal will be printed. Now let's see the output of this program. So the pre order traversal of this tree is ADHLPZCE. So that was all for this video. If you have any doubts or suggestions, please leave in the comment section below. If you like my content, please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. It really motivates me to make more such content. And until next time, this is Sandeep Thapar signing off.